Hey y'all, it's Michaela of Funnable Curves, if you didn't already know, and today I'm bringing y'all my wig install for my 20th birthday. You know, gotta scratch that scalp though. But, um, yeah, this is my wig install for my 20th birthday, which was this past Saturday, March 19th. I just turned 20, so I'm not a teenager anymore, but I'll be getting into more of that later, later in the video. But, um, I'm gonna just jump right into this install. So... Um, big change already so instead of doing like just putting my hair in a bun at the bottom of my head y'all see like what I'm doing right now I'm just tucking it like at the top of my head so that it doesn't create this huge lump at the bottom that kind of be hurting if you lay on it not gonna lie which is like way easier um, it makes the back of your head look better so yeah that's what I've been doing it's a good strategy for girls with longer hair you know or just hair doesn't shrink as much so yeah but y'all see the wig this wig is gorgeous and y'all see how flat it lays like it's not very dense which i appreciate because like y'all see all the body on the wig and everything like it's kind of it go crazy so like i'm in love with this wig the only thing is it sheds a ridiculous amount like it's kind of crazy but no, nonetheless like i still love it i love the color i was really scared of the color though because like this is way out of my comfort zone i've never seen myself with you know basically orange hair when i bought the wig i thought it was going to be more brown and then i saw it in person and i was like oh this is this is a bolder color than i thought it was going to be so um it was definitely a surprise to see it on myself but you know once i actually laid the wig down and everything i was like okay I can I can see myself with this color more but right now I'm just taking a tweezer and picking the hairline trying to make it look more natural um, trying to make it more thinner because at first I just felt like it was a little bit too thick you know I like the shape of the hairline but I just wanted to be thinner at the front so like it just you know y'all get what I'm trying to say so this takes like a fat minute not gonna lie but it's worth it. It makes the wig look more natural in general. And it also makes like laying like the baby hairs down easier because the baby hairs are thinner and everything. So yeah, this is a very important step. It's very tedious, but it's very important. So once you get that done, like everything else is like easy peasy. But it's just this one part. It's like you gotta do a lot of plucking. Especially with a synthetic wig, you know. Also, don't mind the background. Y'all are going to see some people, like, walking in and out of the background because this is my birthday weekend, so I had people over um, company to spend time with me on my birthday, so they're just chilling in my room and whatnot. So don't mind them. They're just, you know, minding their business and whatnot, and you're going to see me talking throughout the video and stuff because I'm talking to the people in the background. So, yeah, but my birthday was great. It was, and it didn't hit me that I was turning 20 until, like, late the night before. I was like, oh, my goodness, my birthday's tomorrow. Like, does anybody else go through that motion of, like, it doesn't really hit you that your birthday's coming up until, like, the very last second? Like, it always takes a couple times for me to realize, like, oh, my birthday is literally, like, tomorrow, like... And then the day it hits, it don't really hit you and you don't really get excited for real until like when you actually get ready to do stuff and whatnot. So, yeah, that was kind of my experience. It didn't really hit me until like much, much later. So it's crazy to think like I'm really like not a teenager anymore. Like people are asking me, like, do you feel different and stuff? I'm like... At first, you know, before my actual birthday, I was like, no, I don't think I don't think 20 is that important or anything like that. But then as I thought about it more, I was like, well, dang, like I'm not going to be a teenager anymore. And I'm really entering like my 20s era. And I was telling my friend, I was just in the background, like we really like in this era that these other people that we look up to are just about to leave. Like they're about to go in their 30s. And now it's time for me to go through exactly what they were talking about and when it when that hit me i was like oh like that really put it into perspective like this is the beginning of a new a new stage in life like you're really not a teenager anymore you're two decades old and you got your whole 20s to go through like 
in 20s is a wild ride I've heard so yeah when I realized that I was like huh you know it doesn't really change your mood all that much but it's like you know it gives you like a new perspective you know I don't know if that made sense but yeah (laughs) like you're officially like an adult like your age your number is not teenager you know like you got 13 14 15 16 you know that's all teens but y'all don't mind my boyfriend I was asking him if he could see the difference between the side I plucked and the side I hadn't plucked yet and it's funny because he kept saying like it would look better if you pushed the wig up more and I'm like I'm not talking about where the wig is at I'll push it up later I'm talking about the thickness of the hairline and yeah so don't mind him (laughs) but I was saying like you know uh 13 through 19 they all have teen at the end but then you hit 20 and it's like oh you for real an adult now you know 18 is considered legal and adult but when you think about it like that's really still a teenager so when you hit 20 it's like oh this is different (laughs) okay but my birthday was pretty fun um and also pretty stressful because I had to drive to New Orleans and back to get my friend and I was having car problems which I'll get into but I did this I got ready and stuff and then we went out to take pictures downtown which y'all will see in the thumbnail because I ended up not showing the finished look in this video so the thumbnail will have this finished look or you can go on my Instagram at Finable curls go ahead and follow if you already don't and you can see those pictures for yourself you can zoom in if you want you know if the thumbnail ain't doing it for you you know but um we took pictures downtown and then we went to dinner at this restaurant around here it's called Mansers on the boulevard which it was pretty good it was pretty good um i wouldn't say it was like extraordinary you know it wasn't you know it wasn't anything like too extravagant or nothing but it was it was a good restaurant um didn't have any problems or anything like that the food was good i ate all of it which says what needs what it needs to say so yeah and then we were gonna go bowling but we ended up not going bowling because y'all there's a sheet that covers the bottom of my car to protect the oil pan and that like okay i have a honda civic and I've seen a whole thread of people with Honda Civics having the same problem of like the sheet coming loose, like I guess the screws fall out or something because they don't put it on right or anything like that. So it ends up like being slanted and like almost dragging on the road. So we're driving back and I end up hitting a huge curb and it bends the sheet back. So it's dragging like directly against the road the whole time. And okay, we're like, I can't go bowling. We can't go bowling because it's not safe for the sheet, the metal sheet to be dragging against the road like that. So we had to take it off in the morning. So that was stressful. And that like got in the way of the plans. But instead we played Uno at the apartment. We played another game and we just, we just had a good time in the apartment. So that's how the date ended. And it ended up dealing with my car the next morning. So my day was very stressful, but it was also like I had a good time. Like I really did have a good time despite all the stress I was going through. Cause like y'all can see in this video, like I'm rushing. Like this is the fastest I've done a wig install ever. And this is only my third install. And I'll say I did that. Cause I was definitely like trying to move with urgency and stuff. Which by the way, I use an eyebrow blade to cut the lace and I like tweak it by cutting like weird pieces off with the scissors and stuff. So I'm using a got to be glutes um, free spray to lay the wig because the only reason I don't use glue and I don't use like the wig cap method or any of that is because I like being able to have the option of taking my wig off at night. I don't always do that, but I like having the option. So I feel like the the got to be isn't as strong as like lace glue you know so I like to use this method and it's it still looks natural you know I feel like if I did the wig cap method it wouldn't really make much of a difference so I just stick with the got to be 
And uh, yeah, laying this wig was kind of difficult because the ends were like covering my ear. And I wish I did this in the video, but I ended up doing it later. But I, I had to cut off more of that part by my ears because it was starting to hurt. Like it was trying to like fold my ear down, you know, it wasn't comfortable. So I ended up cutting more like around my ear so it could fit like around my ear better. Um, but y'all don't see that in this video. But just letting y'all know, I ended up doing that like the next day. No, not the next day, like two days later. So, but other than that, like, the way it wasn't that hard to lay, well, like, around the sides, towards the bottom, it kind of was, because like I said, it, it was too much of the lace over my ear, so I had to, like, keep tugging on it to make sure it was covering, or no, like, it was laying in front of my hairline and not on my hairline, if that makes sense. But I mean, besides that, the wig was easy, I mean no different from laying any other wig and stuff which y'all see me doing right now and one thing i started doing was like i'll take a rat tail comb and i'll like hold the the lace with the rat tail comb and i'll keep blow drying which y'all will see me do later at some point but i feel like it definitely helps because i just feel like your finger doesn't do it as well <laughs> i don't know like yeah and y'all also see me brushing the hairline back to make sure there's no like hair is getting in the way or being glued down by the got to be or whatnot so yeah but back to the car problems i wasn't even supposed to be the one driving to new orleans and back my other friend was supposed to do it so like i wouldn't be like all crammed in one day and stuff and trying to deal with bringing it to and from you know all that jazz but my other friend was having car problems her engine light came on and you know when, you're, when your engine light comes on like that's a big no-no and she was having trouble starting her car and everything and she tried to get a diagnostic run on her car and they kept saying it's fine and it's like how's my car fine if this light is on you know it, it didn't make sense so you know you can't drive when you don't know what's wrong with your car but you know something's wrong with it but I guess people don't be knowing what they're doing sometimes when you try to get your car fixed and whatnot. So she couldn't drive. So I ended up having to take one for the team to go get her myself because I just, she had to be there, you know, hadn't seen her in a while. So I was just going to take one for the team because, you know, the problem isn't me driving to New Orleans. I don't mind doing that. Um, it was just time wise. And that's why I had to rush kind of with doing this, which by the way, I just took some foundation which is um darker than my skin tone i did that on purpose because the lace is so light so it ends up canceling out but um it also works out because the perimeter of your face in general is a little bit darker than the rest so you know it's kind of like applying bronzer but what i'm doing is laying out my baby hairs which they're adult hairs right now but don't mind that and I'm doing that so I can lay the lace down while also laying the baby hairs forward and not back like the rest of my hair. It makes them easier just to lay like flat, you know. This video is all over the place, I know, but I just wanted to say for my birthday, I also cooked shrimp fettuccine for the first time, which um, I've never, I've never made before. My mom, that's like a signature dish um, that my mom makes. So I never made it before. And um, it's it's not a hard dish to make. It's just like make sure you're doing things um, at the right time. Like you don't want to burn the shrimp. You, um, you don't want the, um, sh yeah, make sure you, you don't burn the shrimp. Make sure you put everything in and you don't want to cook it for too long and stuff like that. Like it's, you gotta be precise basically. So I was like kind of scared about that. So I, that's why I, it was just taking me so long to get around to trying to make it, which I did very good. The only thing is I added too much half and half milk. Like I added double the amount I was supposed to add because the half and half milk comes in one quart and the recipe requires um, a pint. And 
I only had like a cup to like pour the milk into the mixture. And I ended up pouring four cups instead of two because I got my conversions mixed up like completely. So instead of four cups, I did, I mean, instead of two cups, I did four. And, um, you know, I was scared that I was going to mess it up, but it actually just like created like excess sauce and it wasn't as thick as it normally is which I didn't mind because when the sauce is super thick like that it's hard to get off like whatever dish you eat it on and it's kind of annoying even though I prefer the sauce to be thick because you know it's more like concentrated in flavor but it was also just like easier to rinse off with the more milk in the in the mixture so um it wasn't a loss it wasn't a win either but either way um the shrimp fettuccine was very good and I'm proud of myself for that um <laughs> I just wanted to say that I made my own dish for my birthday like I just you know because my mom knows like that's one of my favorites so like most birthdays that's what she cooks for me for my birthday or red beans or something so yeah the odds really worked out for my birthday because it happened to be at the end of spring break the Saturday towards the end of spring break and it also happened to be a beautiful day like most of my birthdays like pretty much like all of them it always rains on my birthday and you know it's a blessing and all when it rains on your birthday, it's a blessing. But, you know, it'd be ruining my pictures, you know? So for this to be the first time in a long time for my birthday to just, you know, be sunny, it's like, God is good, okay? <laughs> but I'm just taking my wig band off. I went ahead and did my makeup while it was setting for a little bit. Y'all can't see the lace. Y'all really can't. And if you can, you lying. Okay, so I mean, except for that little bottom piece, but I mean, who cares about that? You're not gonna see that. Um, so what I've learned with edges is that less is more. Cause I mean, this recent lace frontal install that I did with the black wig, I realized like I did, I did the baby hairs too thick, which I ended up going back and changing. I ended up taking some baby hairs off, um, and making them a little thinner. Because I ain't made them too thick in the video. So I realized this time I corrected my mistake. I made them super thin. And it definitely paid off. And I also cut them shorter. Or at least tried to. I ended up going back and cutting them even shorter. Like especially on the ends. Y'all will see in a minute. Like I didn't cut it up, cut enough off. But like y'all see like. Baby hairs are really baby hairs. Like they do not need to be that thick. You don't have to take out that much hair. I mean, unless that's what you're going for, if you want a more dramatic look, I mean, go go for it. But me, I want my baby hairs to look natural. And, you know, you really don't realize how thin natural baby hairs are until, like, you screw up and you're like, oh, this is way too much. Okay, so, yeah, um, correcting my mistake definitely paid off because the baby hairs look so natural. And y'all see in my pictures, you know, again, go on my Instagram. If you really want to see Fineable Curls or Twitter, actually, yeah, either one, all my social medias, really, because I definitely posted a TikTok, too. But if you see any of those, you'll see, like, the baby hairs look natural. Like, this wig looks natural, to be honest. And I was so glad at how good my edges lay, which, by the way, I use got to pee again, um, not the free spray, but the glue or whatever it's called. I showed it to y'all. I know that much, but um, yeah, I just feel I just feel like I did way better on the baby hairs this time. Like they're not too much, they're not too long, you know. The only thing was I didn't cut enough off of the lace at the bottom, and it was getting in the way of my ear, and it was getting hard to put my glasses on and stuff. So that was annoying. But I mean, besides that, I'm getting good at this um, at these wig installs, honestly. You know, comment below if you agree. Hype me up. Don't hype me up too much, though, because I might get a little cocky. <laughs> I'm just playing. But um, one thing I wish I did also was I wish I put some foundation on the part. 
either on top of the part or on bottom on the bottom like on the inside of the lace or something because I feel like it was too light but I'm gonna cut myself some slack also because my scalp in general is light so I mean who gonna know how light my scalp really is I mean nobody so I wasn't too worried about it I mean you're really not gonna be looking at my fake scalp anyway so but this is what I'm talking about I ended up going back and cutting more of that piece off later but I mean for the time being it's fine I mean it's fine to have long you know sideburn looking baby hairs um in front of your ear so I per I just personally wish I cut a little bit more but it was no big deal I'm actually very surprised at how fitting this was for my like my skin tone like I just was not imagining that this ginger would look so good on me because when I first put it on I was like mm, I don't know I don't know but at when I started like doing the baby hairs and stuff I was like okay I, I see the vision now like I see what you were doing past Michaela when you bought this wig and like now I love this color you know maybe it's like the the fact that we as black women especially darker black women are told from society time and time again like bold colors we should not do them we shouldn't wear them like do not do bold colors just you know stick to your natural um black that's not really black it's very dark brown and it's crazy because black women look so good not even black women black people just look so good with color like I can't believe we were bamboozled like that because we really look bomb with colors like against our brown like oh my goodness every time I think about that it's just crazy like how society has bamboozled us and tried to belittle us time and time again but that's a story for another day <laughs> I got a little deep and I, I wasn't trying to do that so yeah this is about it I'm about to be finished I'm just brushing the excess hairs back and um what's it called blending my foundation with you know the part that the wig band was covering and you can see my boyfriend is ready to go <laughs> I was I was definitely like starting to run late and I hadn't even put on my outfit yet so that's how you know like it was time to go for real for real um so yeah we have come to the end of this video i hope y'all enjoyed hope i added some value into your life you know hopefully this give you some inspiration to try a bold color you know step out of your comfort zone like i did because i definitely like did not regret it leave any questions comments compliments or concerns in the comments and i'll get to them you don't have to subscribe like or comment or anything but if you want to support your girl you know, go ahead and take those two seconds out of your day and just, you know, support. Click all those buttons at the bottom of the screen. And remember to never stop growing. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.